Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have c plus c plus c equals to c times of c times of c. So here we solve this problem for the values of c. Okay, so here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we focus in the left hand side. You see here we have 3 is added by 3 times c is added by three times so uh, here uh, now first we take common c and you get the remaining terms are one plus one plus one okay similarly if you focus on the right hand side uh, you see here c is multiplied by three times and uh, all time uh, the exponent of c is equals to one okay it means that here we apply the nice exponential law so you know that if we have a to the power of m into a to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m plus n okay so here we use this nice exponential law in the right hand side so that we add the exponent of all these terms so it will be written as c to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 okay so now here further uh, you see that this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3 and this is equals to uh, c to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 is also equals to 3 okay so now here uh, because we uh, need to solve this problem for the values of c so here in the left hand side we have 3c is equals to c cubed and now here we move this 3c to the right hand side and it will be written as c cubed minus 3c equals to 0. Okay, so now here again uh, you focus in the left hand side and you see here uh, we have c be the common term so that we take common c and we get the remaining terms are c square minus 3 is equals to 0. Okay, so further uh, you see here, uh, here uh, we need to divide this equation into the two cases so that our uh, first case is uh, we just take this c equals to 0 and the second case is we take c square minus 3 equals to 0. So here you, you clearly see that uh, the first uh, root of the given equation is c equals to 0. And now in order to find the other roots, we need to solve this quadratic equation. Okay, this is the pure quadratic equation. So now here we just solve this pure quadratic equation. So first we write this 3 as in this form. We write 3 as square root 3 and its whole square. It means that we just apply square root and square at the same time on 3. So we write this 3 in this form and this is equals to 0. So further you see here, uh, here uh, we need to apply uh, this nice formula a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. Here we just apply this nice formula uh, in the left hand side of this equation so that uh, uh, the above equation will be written as in this form. Uh, so now we apply this formula here so it will becomes c minus square root of 3 into c plus square root of 3 and this whole is equals to 0. So here further we uh, again divide the above equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take c minus square root of 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take c plus square root of 3 equals to 0. Okay, so now in this case, we move this minus square root of 3 in the right hand side. So it will be written as c is equals to square root of 3. And similarly, here we move this plus square root of 3 to the right hand side. So uh, this will be written as c is equals to minus square root of 3. Okay, so finally, we have the three roots of the given equation are this is the our first root this is the second root and our third root is c3 equals to 0. so now in the next step here we need to uh, verify uh, all of these three solutions so that now here uh, first we take c1 equals to square root of 3 so here we just verify the first root 
Uh, so in order to verify the roots we need to uh, copy down the given question statement so the given question statement is c plus c plus c equals to c times of c times of c okay so now here we need to first uh, put the first root on both of the sides so it will be written as a square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 3 is equals to Similarly, we substitute in the right hand side, so it will be written as square root of 3 into square root of 3 into square root of 3. So, here we check that is both of the sides are equal or not. Okay, so here uh, we see that uh, now we uh, take common square root of 3 and the remaining terms are 1 plus 1 plus 1. And in the right hand side, we use the uh, exponential law and we write it as square root of 3. Uh, and its exponent is 1 plus 1 plus 1 okay here we use the uh, exponential law in the right hand side because basis on each of these terms are same and now in the next step you see here this will becomes 3 times of uh, square root of 3 and this will be written as a square root of 3 and its whole exponent is uh, 3 okay so now here we break uh, the exponent of this term and we write it as a square root of 3 and its exponent is 1 plus 2 and now in the next step here we break this exponent and it will be written as a square root of 3 into square root of 3 square so this 2 and square root are gone and uh, we get the remaining terms are in the left hand side we have this is 3 into square root of 3 it is equals to in the right hand side we again get 3 into square root of 3 this means that uh, the first value of c1 equals to square root of 3 satisfied our given equation uh, similarly you will uh, check the uh, second value this is minus square root of 3 okay uh, this uh, uh, minus square root of 3 uh, for this value you can uh, follow the same pattern okay uh, so now here I can just check the third value that is uh, c3 equals to 0. Uh, so if you can substitute this value here uh, then you see that this is uh, when c3 equals to 0 uh, we substitute this value in the given equation so it will be written as 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 0 multiplied by 0 multiplied by 0. So when you add 0 3 times you get 0 and when you multiply 0 3 times then you again get 0 okay this shows that a third value is also satisfy the given equation and this is the final answer of this question uh, and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos